It has been demonstrated that the family integrated care, which means actually that the parents are the primary caregivers, that this reduces the rate of sepsis, it increases um, the weight gain, it increases breastfeeding rate and lactation, it, it reduces the rate of parental pulmonary dysplasia, and what's also important, it increases parent satisfaction and the confidence of the whole team. Could you quickly summarize why we know all this and still often fail to translate this evidence into clinical practice? Translation from research into clinical practice are one of the major challenges in medicine. And this is due to the fact that um, medicine is done by human beings. And human beings are characterized by different characters. Um, so which means by different experience, by different communication skills, uh, by heterogeneity, by different experience in her personal life, by different perceptions. So which means one reason is the team. The other reason is um, the lack of structure in implementing change. So which means if we want to change something, it's not something that it can happen by accident, but we need a structure change management. So the main reason why we fail to implement new evidence in the clinical practice because we were not thinking about how we start the change management. One solution that uh, you presented were so-called clinical pathways. Um, what are the principles of such procedures? The first and most important principle is that we focus our attention on the patient and on the family. So which means in, instead of thinking in subspecialities, um, we think what is the patient journey once he's admitted in the NICU or even before and once he's at discharge and at home. We have to think about this process and then note what makes sense to perform at which step. So which means we, the attention is to focus on the, on, on the patient, on the patient journey. The second thing is that by doing that, we define um, and communication, we define the uh, medical interventions, and we define all the treatment. And this reduces the variation. So which means the variation that currently the treatment is dependent on the person who is attending at night is reduced by having these clinical care pathways. And the third, which is very important, that clinical pathway only work if you develop this pathway in your own unit by a multidisciplinary approach. It's very dangerous if just one group develops this pathway because you need actually the commitment of all team members that this is the consensus, that this is agreement to perform. And these are the advantages of clinical care pathways. Now you have described the concept. And now I know, and you have presented that, uh, that in uh, your hospital, you have implemented a process called Neopath. And we can't go into details probably, but what are those five, six principles you are really proud of? I'm proud of my team. <laughs> so that's the first key message. Um, well, the principles of Neopass is first that we really see the parents as primary caregivers. The second is that we ensure the continuity of care, starting from prenatally after discharge. The third principle is that we adopt the support, the family support, according to the needs of the families during the stay. And the fourth element is that we really involve all our already existing expert teams and they write the concept, the standard operating procedures, like in quality management, process descriptions, and documentation and information. And this material can be used by the whole team. And the expert team train and educate all other team members, but also the other team members which do that in the daily routine, implement it on daily routine, they feed back to the expert group in terms of, okay, this document doesn't work, or did you see what can be improved? So these are the key elements of Neopass. Thank you very much. It was a really interesting presentation. You're very welcome.